Welcome back ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Raw. The main event as well as the entire show has been brought to you by THQ. And well, I just want to say that uh, we this has been a really crazy night so far. I mean, we've had uh three championship matches, but only one of them changed hands tonight, and that was the last match, and then the first match was simply a grudge match as it will for this match. Stay tuned. I hope you enjoy. So you have Sonic, and this time, he's going to face this man once again. Take a look. So, we have ourselves a rematch from last week's main event. Now, originally, the main event was supposed to be Joseph Coney against Sonic, but instead, they pull a fast one, and they have... A, and they had the Prophet take on Sonic, and Sonic beat him. So, the Prophet, who was incensed, demanded a rematch. Now, when it comes to Doom... And, you know, making matches for them. I don't make the matches because, you know, there's a checks and, there's, there, there's a thing called checks and balances, especially, which is especially prevalent. Uh, it first started in uh, the United Kingdom, but I think the United States perfected it with checks and balances. And what, what it simply means is I can't make the matches for Doom because if I do... Well, obviously it would be slanted in the favor of their opponents, and I, I probably would do that, but even so, uh, he simply went to the board of directors, which is perfectly within his right to do so, and they agreed to give him a rematch against Sonic. So with that said, let's start right now. Alright, match underway as... Well, Sonic was going to go right at uh, the Prophet, but the Prophet countered that. And let's see. Oh, yeah, I was telling you the story about the, the Prophet and my problems with him. So if you want to know the rest of the story, um, go to, you know, you have to watch the, the match. I Or not the match, rather, excuse me. The, you have to watch their impromptu matchup in which uh, Joseph Coney was supposed to face Sonic. And not the prophet, but to continue that story, uh, what happened was everything that I had up to that point, like my career, everything, the the company or the livelihood of it would be at stake. And oh, please tell me he's not going to tap out again. I mean, if he taps out again, I'm I'm really going to laugh this time, as the prophet. Oh no, not this time. I actually I think he was. 
I think he's been learning how to get out of that move because that's the same move that Sonic put him in to win the last matchup. So, if anything, the Prophet underestimated him the first time, and I don't think he's stupid enough to underestimate him again. At least I, I, at least I don't think he is. Anyway, I took on the Prophet September 19th, 1986. It was a loser leaves the company in a cage match. Or, or rather, it's a ca it was a cage match, but the loser had to leave the company. And knowing what was at stake, if I had lost, the company would have died with my father. But since I won, the company still lives on. And I'm in control of it. And because of the loss, or rather, being knowing the outcome... Yeah, the Prophet was finally out of the company and out of my hair, or so I had thought. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, and then up until recently, he had been gone for so long, and just when I thought I got rid of him, he comes back. And how convenient, I, I can't wrestle anymore, and he still can. Although, to be fair, he had been gone for 14 years, so I would think he would have recovered from most of the injuries I have and all the beatings I had given him. But, but he is back. And I will admit, he may not be, you know, the, you, you know, he may not be the same guy in terms of uh, the way he looked back then, but he more or less looks the way he did back then. It's just, you know, he's a little older and he's lost quite a bit of hair and most of it was on his head not on his face but other than that I mean that's pretty much it anyway one one no not even a one count excuse me went for a pinfall cover but Sonic not even a one count on Sonic though and the match continues but yeah that's pretty much the story of uh, me and the Prophet and and the Prophet readily admitted that he was the one that sent Joseph Coney after me like what he did was he paid off Joseph Coney not long after I had taken out the profit out of the company he practically he sent Joseph Coney to attack me and you know Joseph Coney for 10 years uh, starting in 1987 would try to end my career and it took him 10 years to do it but he did it and I'm still mad about that. So it just, you know, if anything, it proved that, you know, Joseph Coney really wasn't my enemy all that, all this time. It was actually the Prophet paying him off. And it was really nothing personal from uh, Joseph Coney's standpoint. But I still don't like the guy. And I still do not like the Prophet. And I really hope that Sonic kicks his butt tonight like he did the first night. So uh, right now he's doing a good job of it so far. And then a dropkick to the face of uh, the Prophet. That, there you go. I'm happy about that. But in all seriousness, I really don't like the guy. I mean, and, and, and in addition to that, I mean, he also uh, he predicted the end, the end of the world at the start of uh, the year 2000. And, well, it hasn't ended yet. And he also predicted the end of the world in the year 1994. But did it end? No. So that tells you that he's a false prophet. I mean, he, that's the thing about, you know, these, about, you know, the prophet and, you know, all these other false prophets that, you know, try to predict the end of the world. Like, why, why do you do that for? I mean, it, it's written in the Bible that no man, not even the angels in heaven, know when the world is going to end. The only person that knows that is, you know, our our creator, God. And I, I, I understand that not everybody is a religious person, I'm sorry, but, you know, th that's just the way I was brought up, so that's, that's all I have to say on the subject. And, wow, Sonic has been busted open. I didn't realize it until just now. I was just kind of going on a rant on uh, the prophet, but uh, that, but that's really all I have to say about it. As Sonic is now taking down the announce table, as both men are on the outside, this is not a no DQ match. This is not a no disqualification match. So they have to get back inside. As the prophet is choking out uh, Sonic, and Sonic is the one that's hurt now. 
because the last match they had, uh, the the prophet was man enough to admit that uh, he he simply made the mistake of underestimating Sonic. Well, that's not the case here. As Sonic is is as Sonic, his face is now a crimson mask. And then a drop kick onto the prophet, onto the back. And now what's he gonna set up the prophet for? Oh. And a a back superplex off off the top rope onto the prophet. Of course, it might not have had the sting it might have if uh, if Sonic had been a hundred percent. But even so, it still did a number on him. I mean, of course, a move like that you may not beat an opponent necessarily with that move, but it does add up though. I mean, the 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 damage does add up. And then a leg lariat that actually busted open the Prophet. Now both men have been busted open. Now it's practically anybody's game now. And... Whoa, what, what kind of move is that? It kind of looked like a, a leg drop bulldog or something. One, two, no kick out by the Prophet. I mean, I would expect the Prophet to kick out of that because, come on. He's been through so many wars as I have... He's not going to be that easy of a win. I'll tell you that much. Oh, and a rope break. Too close to the ropes was the Prophet. I mean, the Prophet, if anything, he has something to prove to himself as well as to Sonic and the whole world that what happened last time was a fluke. Pinfall. One. No, just a one count on Sonic. Oh, and they both kicked each other, but... Oh, no. No. Folks... Here's a move that has taken out so many men, including myself. The Prophecy! The Prophecy! He calls that move that he just did, The Prophecy. One! Two! Oh, kick out by Sonic. I guess it didn't have enough sting as it normally would if Sonic, or not Sonic, uh, if the Prophet had been 100% or something like that. I, I don't know, I was just... Oh no, wait a minute. Prophet going from the top rope? Yeah, that's why he's not good at flying off the top rope. I'm sorry. Prophet, I mean, you just... Uh-oh. I've been in this position many times myself. When the Prophet gets pissed, he really lets him have it. I mean, he let me have it when uh, I was fighting him in the 80s. One, no, kick out by Sonic. I mean, Sonic is... Oh, come on! Stop grabbing him there! Don't do this! Wow! Oh my god. Uh, folks, I, I, I think Sonic is not going to have any kids tonight. I'm sorry. Sonic is not having any kids right now. I mean, he's a young man after all, but still, I, I don't think he's going to have any kids anytime soon right now. Anyway. Oh, nice arm drag combination with the use of those ropes. I'll tell you one thing. This match has... Botch. One. Two. Oh, so close. So this match has definitely... Uh oh wait a minute. Blue Tornado. Blue Tornado onto the Prophet. Is that enough? One. Two. Yep, it was. So Prophet losing to Sonic, but this time it was a much more closely contested matchup. It could have gone either way. But the winner is Sonic, and I mean, oh, now Sonic is being a good sport about it. Why, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I should have realized you were going to do that. See, now this is just a prime example of how much of a bastard this man is. And I'm talking about the Prophet, who's celebrating the fact that even though he lost the match, fair and square, mind you, against Sonic decided to do that. I mean, this is this is just a microcosm of the fact of the trouble that I had with him in the 80s and the trouble I'm having him I'm having with him right now. I'm so angry. I can't even speak correctly, but but this is not right. And folks, uh, uh, we're going to have to get uh, somebody to clean up uh, Sonic as well as get him an ice, you know, an ice bag because, you know, he's going to have to I mean, twice, twice he got well, first he got grabbed by the by the sack and then 
he gets hit in the sack. So, yeah, he's going to need some ice to, you know, numb the pain. While the Prophet is also a bloody mess. You know, that, that's exactly what he gets. But I hope he gets a lot more where that came from by the time Sonic is through with him. Oh, but you know what? Until next time, this is Henry Jacobson signing off saying goodbye. And uh, stay tuned. And uh, thank you for, you know, welcome, welcome me. Eh. Thank you for allowing us to come into your house. Uh, however you're watching this. Until next time, have a good night, everybody.